we are making something with pork and I'm super excited for a new pork recipe yes. because we do I don't know you guys probably do too we our family eats a lot of pork you know we don't and I need to and when you look at these nice thick pork well, chops yeah. it's like we should be eating I mean those are they're good and they're healthy and and I get tired of chicken and can I put this other beef one all, yes and beef all the time so do you? yeah so this is a really easy recipe so it would probably take two minutes to do, but with Ronnie and I, it could take 20 minutes. It could take the rest of the show. It could, but we will we will get it done in just this one segment because it's just that easy. It's a crock pot ranch pork chop Fun. recipe. Fun, okay. Um, so it calls for um, four boneless chop pork chops. I'm doing six because we have a family of four and um, a big eater. Um, and then it calls, oh, I like it. Doesn't that look nice? It calls for one can of cream of chicken soup and... <laughs> Survey oh, says. one can of mushroom soup, too? Well, that I didn't bring. Oh, oh shoot. Only because my, my family doesn't like mushrooms. Well, then you're fine. Did you get two cans of cream of two chicken? Two cans of cream of chicken well, I did get. Well, that's fine. And one packet of um, ranch dressing seasoning. Okay. So, Is that it? And Yeah. And then it, the, the directions um, say you just, you know, dump everything in it in the crock pot. But what I'm going to do is just brown the pork chops so you know I always switch it up just a little bit that's what we love about you Carol. <laughs> yeah that's why nothing ever so comes can out I start, right can I start huh can I do you have to add the pork you put this on the pork yes yeah, so okay. we're gonna layer the pork chops after I brown them just a little bit we're gonna pour the soup on top of it um, on top of the meat we're gonna sprinkle the ranch um, dressing seasoning on top of it and then we're gonna cook on low for six hours or cook on high for four hours okay in the pot. so question do you, you are you gonna season your pork um well I don't think so because I think the ranch dressing you want that to soak up most okay. of the seasoning okay. and the flavor um, and then I'll put it on low for six hours so. saltaholic was asking that's why yeah well and you know you can do that after you take it out but the when I was looking at this recipe it said that um, this chicken soup you know, cream of chicken soup and the ranch is going to make a nice um, kind of like gravy. gravy. Nice. Yeah. So, so what are you going to serve with this? Mashed potatoes. Okay. And um, a salad. So are your kids picky mm -hmm. eaters? Yes, they certainly are. But they like their, are they like a meat potato kind of family? Yes, okay. they are. Yeah. And it's funny because I asked Jonah last night, I made, um, or no, a couple nights before I was finishing up our brisket and um, I put a salad with that, which was a, you know, a salad and, and brisket was a good healthy mm -hmm. meal. And Jonah, every time we go to a restaurant, he will always order a salad, always. And when I make the same kind of salad at home, he never eats it, and I ask him why, he goes, because it's not um, house dressing, ra the ranch. Mm -hmm. I go, yeah, it is. It, it is. They get it in big buckets, the ranch dressing, that sometimes they water it down, but he likes really? restaurant ranch dressing, Instead of some restaurants, do they make their own? You know, I'm sure some of them do. I, I shouldn't say that. I don't want to burn. Is that they all, you know, water them down? But I said, Jonah, it's it's ranch is ranch is ranch. Well, so, some think, is. Yeah, yeah. So, anyways, so yes, my kids are picky eaters. Those are getting nice and brown. Okay, I'm gonna set that over there. Okay. Okay, so why don't we take, Ronnie, if you want to get these cans open and... Oh, let the, me... The, um... <laughs> I was doing do French. that again. I was doing French toast Sunday because it, we have a big breakfast on Sundays. Uh-huh. And I was thinking I was all cool and... Did you flip something upside down with that? Yep. It had to be two flipped twice before they went in the, uh, mm -hmm. on the plates. Well, these are getting nice and just ever so slightly Have I ever brown. not made you French toast? No, you have it. You brag about it all the time, but I've never had. I do brag about it. Not gonna lie. I know. Now, now see, these are ever so slightly brown, which okay. is good, and they're nice and thick, so they will take the whole six oh, hours. Here, let's do it this way. There we go. Yeah, I'm low. That one's You know, good. I've never seen a spatula used quite like that before. You know, good that's work, why. I'm good just work. So, here, let's put that on the flame. Oh, the you want it to cook. Put this one in here as well. Okay, now if you want to start, you know, we could pour. Are we ready? Put, yeah, we're ready for the okay. uh, do, 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 do. cream of chicken soup. And like you, you could switch it up. You can use cream of mushroom and cream of chicken. You can use, you know, one um, cream of celery. Okay. And, you know, it does, I don't do you like, cre I don't mind cream of celery. I like cream of celery. I just think it adds, uh, yeah, I think it adds some good flavor. I use it in my 
chicken dip. Yeah. Speaking of dip, if you missed yesterday's show, mm. Linda had oh, a, took, an amazing yeah. recipe. And I will print that and keep it in my cart because I know a lot of people wanted it. Yes, and our own Akela, who's behind the camera. Yeah. Where, where are you, Akela? Go up and down, wave the camera. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's Akela. She had a great suggestion with Linda's recipe yesterday is to make it into a casserole. And all you would need to do with that is add um, some noodles and some slices of chicken. Ooh. And yeah, she made a, this really yummy dip um, that she baked in the oven, but you add some noodles and chicken to that and it could become a casserole so right now we're just going to top Woo, that's hot get that out of your face there it's um, a little steamy yes so we are topping the um pork chops do you want the with the packet? cream of chicken soup look at you and then we get this our, is a great recipe and you, how easy yeah i, I might have to try three this ingredients then we get our literally yeah literally and it's gonna make its own kind of gravy after six hours. It's gonna get, you know, put yep. that over mashed potatoes and a salad. And then we're just gonna sprinkle this ranch So high on, on for four hours, low for six. six. Yep. Beautiful. There Great recipe. Go, Thank you, Carol. And, we're gonna, and Carol's and so gracious, she's gonna share this recipe if you don't have it written down by now on yes. our website, nebraska.tv. Good right, work, friends. Carol Ann. Yeah, All right, we're coming easy. back with more MTV's Good Life. We Keep will. it right here.